We got here at like 2 a.m. in the morning. 2 a.m. in the morning. What am I saying? Each time I make a memory, then I try to make it with you. Good morning, besties. Today is the day after Christmas. We are waking up today in Botswana. We're actually in Maun. I don't know how they pronounce it, to be honest with you, but. We ended up having to come here and actually find a hotel room because for the life of us we could not go to the place that we wanted to go to because the road was not so good. It was gravel road and it was like gravel road for like 60 kilometers and blue is so low like we could have hit potholes the whole way. You scared me. Is it locked? Okay, I'll go with you. So we ended up just driving and we got here at like 2 a.m. in the morning. 2 a.m. in the morning. What am I saying? At 2 a.m. It was pretty insane. Kebe was a very tired. She was passed out. She was complaining. And I felt so bad for her because she was sleeping on the car seat the whole time. And I was also getting so tired. And there were elephants all the way. And donkeys and massive potholes. It was not a fun drive. Like, I'm not going to lie to you guys. It was not fun at all. But I was actually... Mama. By the time we got here... I okay. And here. Okay. By the time we got here, I was pretty irritated and just not having it seriously I, I got here took off my pants pretty much threw myself in bed and i passed out and that girl is being crazy hey birthday <laughs> so yeah it wasn't very fun so we had to improvise were you feeling kind of bummed out that we ended up not going to makari khari which we really wanted to go we wanted to go see the, um, the makari khari pan and was just like the biggest salt something i don't remember it now but essentially what happened is there was a massive river or a dam there but it completely dried up so it just looks pretty incredible but we can't risk driving 60 kilometers on an uneven gravel road to get there it just doesn't justify it so i guess we'll have to come back someday when we have a 4x4 or a bigger car that's a little bit higher so yeah it was we a bit of a bummer. But anyway, it is right now, what time is it? I think it's about 9 a.m. ish in the morning. And we are gonna go ahead and make our way to Namibia. It's an eight hour drive from here. Hmm? We're going to the beach. Uh, yeah, we, well, we're making our way to the beach, but we're technically gonna be at the beach tomorrow. Mama, look, I'm gonna shoot your camera, douche. <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna make our way to Namibia. It's about four hours from here to the border and then another four hours to Windhoek, which is essentially where we're gonna be sleeping tonight. And then we'll see how it goes to get to uh, Swakopmund and then where we stay. So yeah, that's technically the plan. Today we just wanna get into Namibia, but my child is going crazy. Great face. <laughs> Jumping on the bed, which I don't know. Because we've been camping. This is our first hotel stay, and we're not even planning on getting a hotel stay. But I was so cranky and so tired and so exhausted from watching out for elephants and donkeys and all of those animals on the road and, and the potholes. And horses and horses. Oh, it was exhausting. So, anyway, I'm talking to And much. horses. And horses. You make a valid point. Dizzy is waiting for us in the car, so let's get going, Messi. <laughs> Who is this? She literally picked that thing up and she's like, selfie! Oh my goodness. Should I do one more time? Okay. Okay, okay. Selfie! My child. <laughs> I found we decided to just take a quick leg stretch it is so hot it's like almost 40 degrees celsius right now it's piping hot little miss k is trying to find the remote controller which she calls her phone like that little one that you we normally use to control our bluetooth thingy 
What she doesn't realize though, and I already told her, but she doesn't believe me, is that she left it at home on top of the fridge. Lizzie just gave me this drink, you guys. It's so refreshing. It's so nice and cold, which is actually very weird because the ice is from yesterday. Oh wow, we killed a lot of flying things. That ain't good. Yeah! <laughs> Did you take? <laughs> oh my gosh, you actually took the clouds a picture. Well done! And right back on the road we go. So we have a couple of kilometers to cover right now before we get to the border, but hopefully we'll be able to get some PIE because Cables One has been obsessing over that. I have no idea where she got that from, but every single day she asks for one. So hopefully we'll be able to get her one and get us as well because it's almost half past 2 p.m. and the last time we ate was a couple of hours ago so we're gonna get hungry now yeah i hate that i'm vlogging and the light is like cutting on my face but i have to because i feel like i'm not gonna get a chance to do this but we have officially crossed the border into namibia Yay! It's very exciting, but it's piping hot. It's probably like 40 degrees right now. So we're gonna try and make our way to Evan Camp, which is in Windhoeks, and it's about like what three, almost four hours from now. And it is only right now 15 minutes past 5 p.m. So chances are we're only gonna get there over late. Are you ready? Yeah. We born ready. Let's go find food. This is all she's been asking for. A pie. Are you gonna need something to drink with that? Are you gonna need something to drink? Ice cold water? Okay. We're officially like an hour into Namibia. We just quickly stopped by an engine. Where's the sign? There. By an engine garage to quickly get some food because Cables One has been begging for PIE, which I'm officially calling it like that because every time I say the full name, she's like, I want it, I want it. So that's all she wanted. We grabbed some. I was so tempted to get Wimpy because they have Wimpy here. And purely because it looks very familiar, and was like, yes, some familiar food. But then, thought about it, we're gonna cook anyway, it's not worth it. If I eat that now, it means I'm not gonna have food. So I was like, nah, it's fine, I'll pass though. So. Probably get that when we get home, but the monkey, the wimpy monkey on my shoulder is very real. Okay, so let's see who gets what. I think it's a little hot though, but can you blow on it? Yeah. Sticking to me, definitely hers. She's like, I like beef. I like beef. Let's take out the paper. I like that. And then we avoid the mess. This is exactly why sometimes eating pie is not necessarily a good idea. But it was really good, so we are full. I guess it did what it was supposed to do. 190 kilometers to go. Only 10 kilometers to go. Oh my goodness. I have seriously never been so happy to be at a petrol station before. Here's babe. You feel like you need to eat pizza. What makes Wait, you feel you like that? Pizza? I feel like I need to eat pizza. Seriously, you guys, I've never been so glad to see a petrol station before. I was like so panicked, especially because it's nighttime and we were running on like 10 kilometers before literally the car goes off and out of fuel. Oh my gosh, that was close. So now we're gonna go try find accommodation. It is exactly 15 minutes past 9 p.m. So hopefully uh, they will have space. We're actually gonna try go back to the same campsite we camped at last year because it was so amazing and they got free Wi-Fi and you know, I'm all about that free Wi-Fi lifestyle. Oh yeah, we used to have that and then it expired and then we never used it so we had to throw it away. They should make because why? Yeah, they should make it in like smaller packs that we can eat quickly. What snack do you want? <laughs> no, I mean just any snack. What snack do you want? I think we got the snacks. We actually got like two liters of coke and chips and some biscuits. And the coke is so warm though. Nothing here is cold. I think that's just the normal temperature because I looked everywhere trying to find a cooler one and there wasn't any. So and I've just taken that one and we'll just suck it up and drink it warm. We don't even have ice ice uh, cubes. We'll probably just ask if we can get the accommodation. 